Hey there XA users, welcome to my Excel Power Tips channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use a combination of an in-cell drop-down together with conditional formatting, where you, when you use that both together, you can instantly change the currency symbol of a set of values simply by choosing a different value in the drop-down. So at the moment, I've got the drop-down showing euros and the currency symbol is euros. If I change the drop-down to another value to represent the symbol, UK pound, Currency symbol changes to a pound. If I choose another one, Japan yen, for Japanese yen, the currency symbol changes to Japanese yen. Next, I'll show you how it's done, and it's not that difficult. First step is to create a worded currency drop down. So I've got my worded currency drop down in cell B2, it's going from UK pound to Japanese yen. To create that, what we do is we create a table, a list of all the, the worded currencies. So I've created it in the second tab called currency table and I've entered the names of the currencies UK pound to Japan yen. You could have more than four currencies, you could have five, six, whatever. So once we've done that, we've typed in the list of your currencies, we convert that list in, into a table. So you can either do that by clicking on insert, and then you'll see this icon here. It's disabled at the moment because I've already changed this into a table. When you click on that, uh, you can convert that into a table or on a keyboard. If you press Control T, you can also convert that list into a table. And once you've done that, um, Excel display the table tools design menu. If you click on that context menu design and you go over to the left, you'll see that the, the default name uses table one, table two for the table name. Uh, I normally change that name to a more meaningful name, so I've changed it to currency table. Uh, and bear in mind, table names are not supposed to have any uh, blank spaces in them. Once you've done that, you go back into your currency data that contains the currency data. And then um, in the cell where you want the drop down to appear, uh, in this case, cell B2, you go into on the Excel menu, you go into data, you click on data validation, then data validation again. And in the data validation dialog box, what you'll see is on the list, you'll see uh, in the allow for the settings tab list. And for the source, you type in equals indirect, uh, the formula, open brackets, and in quotes, the name of the currency table that you've created, uh, which in my case, I've called it a currency table with no space, and then close the brackets. And then once you've done that, and you clicked on OK, the drop down will then appear with the worded currencies. The final step is to set up different conditioning formatting rules for the number cells. Uh, which are the currency cells uh, to respond to different values in the worded drop down list? So, at the moment, we've got the drop down value list as UK pound. And what we do is we go into the first cell that contains a numerical value, and then we go into conditional formatting in the home tab. And then we click on new rule. Then, in the new formatting rule dialog box, you click on this option here, the last one. Use a formula to determine which cells to format. And here we type equals, and then we click on the cell that contains the drop down. Uh, you notice that Excel puts it as absolute, which is fine. Then type equals, and then type exactly in quote the name of the worded currency, UK pound, with the correct case as well. And once you've done that, you click on format. And then in the format cells dialog box in the numbers tab, you click on currency. And here in the symbol, you just choose the currency. So in this case, I'm going to be choosing pound and click on OK. And click on OK again. So you notice that the, the currency is now changed, and that's directly responding to the value of the currency drop down UK pound. So we, to apply this to the rest of the number cells, we keep uh, the cell with which you change the currency format as it is and then go back into conditional format and then you click on manage rules and at the moment the conditional format is just showing it to cell C36 and to apply it to the rest of the cells you click on this little button here and then just select the rest of the numerical cells and you click on apply and if you click on OK then, then you'll see that the currency format has changed. 
And in the same way, uh, if you go back and go into conditional format, the same process is done for the other currency symbols as well. So for example, the Japan Yen, if I click on edit rule, when you apply the rule for the first time, you'll be setting it up in the same way. So for example, here you'll be doing it as Japan Yen. So the word of currency is Japan Yen. And then in the currency for the format, you click on format. And in the symbol, you choose the Japanese Yen symbol. And you click on OK. And the same thing is being, same process has been uh, followed for the US dollar and for the euro. Click on OK. If you go back into the drop down, we change the currency to the euro. You see all the currencies have changed, the symbols to the euro. We change it to the dollar, it's dollar symbol. And lastly, if we change it to the Japan yen, the currency symbol changes to the Japan yen. So that's how you can easily set up a currency symbol change uh, simply by using combination of a drop down and conditional formatting rules. Thanks for watching and watch out for my next video.